Hi there, ladies and gents. This is Ryu Kuroku here. Welcome back to another. <coughs> welcome back to a choking session. No, um, welcome back. Uh, God, now I've lost my voice. Oh no. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. <laughs> Diddy's Conquest. In the last episode, we took down Cram Quay. And we were practically immortal, and we're continuing an immortal streak. In this episode, we're going to take down the crazy Kremlin. And <clears throat> I hope I really don't lose my voice in the middle of this. I've been, um, yeah. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to go into the hornet. Oh, oh, God. Jeez, this is just as bad as Squawk Shaft. Uh, um, we're going to go into the hornet hole. Squawk shaft into the hornet hole. And. Yeah. Um. So we're in a honey level. Oh, it's awfully sweet. Da ha 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 ha. Ah 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 ah. Alright, first DK coin is as soon as you enter in, you go on that hook, you climb up the honey wall, and then you'll find a cave right here. Find the token, and you're pretty much parkouring across the honey walls. Just really, really simple. But wait, that's not all. You're gonna want to continue to climb that honey wall, and then you jump across these two hooks, because guess what? There's another bonus area right here. And we've seen this kind of mechanic before, especially with, um... It wasn't Barrel Bayou, it was, um... It was the other one, it was, um... Shoot, I can't remember its name. But we saw that with a DK coin that we had beforehand, where we had to break it four times in order to get the, um... DK coin. It's just kind of the same concept. And this isn't gonna be the only time we see it anyway. We'll see it a couple more times, I believe. So, yes. First, like minute in where we've already got like two DK coins. Um, if you haven't noticed, the gimmick of this is that there's sticky floors from honey. Just, they, they're kind of annoying. I don't really have a strategy of which character to use. I think Diddy kind of handles it a little bit better. He's a little bit quicker at it, but Dixie's better for control in this one. Like I said before, Diddy speed, Dixie control. You're gonna want to have that control. Because if you don't, then, well, it just won't end out well. 53 lives! 53! This is crazy. I guess it's... If I end this LP with 99 lives, I'm gonna have a massive panic attack. really hope something killed... I mean, that's nothing to hope for, but, I mean... I hope something kills me, too, to just knock my ego down a little bit, because I'm not supposed to be this good. Oh, yay, Squitter! <laughs> I love Squitter. Um, uh, ba 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 You can probably hear my button mashing on here. It's nothing too big. Um, kind of a red heron right there. They put d down that path of, um,. Bananas there to make you think that there's something special there, but nope. Shoot, shoot, shoot. What am I saying shoot for? It's not intimidated. There's like nothing intimidating here. Alright, you're gonna want to kill this Zena right here and you're gonna want to jump down because guess what? There's something over here. What could it be? Judging by these bananas here, we've seen this pattern before. It's a DK coin. Usually they pit like massive groups of bananas for some reason on like certain DK coins to give it ambience. Something retarded. Let's kill that guy. Oh, what the? Oh! No way! No. That was an unbelievably lucky shot. I'm gonna replay that right now. Just, I can't believe that. 
I won't believe that. Huh. <sighs> that followed like the traditional path this time instead of like being a red heron. We just want to climb up. Really simplistic level design. Can't believe it. Jeez. This game wants to get me furious. Um, that hook tells me that there's something there, but we're we've got all the um, coins, so. Okay, it's just a path of bananas. I guess it doesn't hurt. It's just extra um, fuel for lives. I wish I was good as like some speedrunners where they can um, like pretty much shoot the instance that they um, or they can create a platform pretty much the instance that they shoot and be able to land on it perfectly. I'm not that good. I mean. I'm pretty hot stuff, apparently, according to my record, but, um, yeah, unbelievable. Um, so there's a reason why this place is called a cra the Crazy Kremlin, is because it's a theme park, and as you can see, this is very theme park-ish. So we're gonna move on to the next level of Target Terror, and you won't believe what kind of thing that you'll find at a theme park. Come on, I dare you. What is one thing that you'll find at a theme park? I bet you'll never get it right. Uh-uh. There's no way you'll get it right. Shoot, I missed. Oh my god, it's a roller coaster. I can't believe you. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. Roller coaster levels. I I love the levels like these. These are so good. The gimmick of this one is um, you're going to want to hit the... Um, barrels with the uh, check marks that'll cause the gate to rise. There's also um, later on you'll see that there's um, barrels with X's that close gates just so you be careful. Um, I can tell you right now this level is probably I'm probably have to replay it a couple times in order to get everything. They get kind of tricky on a few of the um, bonuses. You have to hit it at perfect timing on a lot of them. Alright. And you only get one shot at these two, so try not to. Try not to die in the, in the uh, bonus levels, because you'll have to replay the level again if you do. Hmm. 41. We're up to 41. Alright, cool. Oh. I just, I love the music in this stage too, it's just so cool. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, it's just so cool. Jump. Jump around. Jump, 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 jump. And there's a DK coin there, just be careful. And you're gonna wanna follow this guy because there is a bonus game right here. Another find the token. Um, just pretty much make it to the end of the track. It's not hard. There's a harder version of this later on, where it just goes ridiculously fast. But you'll see that later. Not much later. I think it's in the next world. And we've got the G. It's good to start getting tricky from here, so we go... Tricky! Tricky! Oh no! No! If you hit the gate, then... Oh no! 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 Kills my immortality. 
I've been taken down a peg. I'm no longer a god. <laughs> Part 13 marks the end. Boohoo. So this is how it's gonna work for, um... I'm gonna just cut to where I was just at. That's how it's gonna work if I die. I just go, go to the point, like, right before I die. So, I'll see you guys in just a second. I'm really close to it. <sighs> you see that? That's what happens. After, um... After you die, you won't stop dying. Now my confidence is shot. Now I'm... I'm not invincible anymore. They got me. Alright, I'm back. Jeez. Oh, no! That was right at the end of the level. That's not right. That is so not right. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Boo. Boo to you. You know what? That kind of depresses me. So, as usual, we're going to leave things off right here since we did our two levels. In the next um, episode, we're going to take down Bramble Scramble. I wonder what kind of level that could be. But um, if you like what I do, please subscribe. If not, it doesn't matter to me. But until then, I'll see you guys later. So, this is Ryu. Peace out.